Welcome to another video and today we are going to go through the weekly analysis for the week ahead as promised in last week's video. So as you can see here we are on the CAD the Swiss franc and you can see here we're clearly in a downward trend. So this red line here you can see how many times we've touched it here and the way I draw my trend lines are I don't need to get the exact points because if you see if I went for this point here I would only be touching two so I'll try and get as many points in as possible even if I need to go through one as you can see this here just spiked above and this gives us one two three four five hits so this is a downward trend line so as you can see I've created a uh, two resistance zones here we've got no support just now at the bottom We'll just get these two resistance zones. So as you can see, these have been created because this area has been respected a few times. So if we just look here in this zone, you can see how many days we are on the daily time frame here. And you can see how many days this area was respected. So this is a resistance zone. And then the market fell down and created a new resistance zone here. You can see how many days consecutively all these days here, it very, really struggled to get above this zone. And then again here, it was respected and fell down. So this is the way we are drawing up our charts. We've got two resistance zones. We've got our trend line. And we would never um, go long on a downward market. So this market is going down. So we're looking for shots. Okay. So we're looking to short the market. Now, for this to play out, you can see here, we've had a high here, we've had a, we've had a lower high here, a lower high here, and this is forming another lower high. So for this to play out, we will basically be looking to short this market. We can see here, we're right on the trend line, okay? And if we zoom in, her entry is going to be on the break of structure. So this yellow line here, this white candle is the last bullish candle. So as soon as that the wick of the last bullish candle gets broke, we will enter the trade. So if we just zoom out. Now, for this, again, we're making lower low, lower low, lower low, and another lower low here. I'm a bit be better doing this here. So I made a lower low here. We've made a lower low here. Lower low. Lower low. So for this to play out, we will again need to make a lower low. So we are saying the market is going to go at least below this area here. So this is why we've got our take profits almost just below the last lower low. And her stop loss, we've got it here above this zone. This looks like a one-to-one -one here just now. But if the market was to reverse, this is just the way I set up my trades. But if the market was to reverse, there's no way I would let it go all the way up here. I would maybe pull this down to this zone. So this zone is basically the last uh, bullish candle. And the stop loss is just above the wick. So you're here, your stop loss will be 95 pips, your take profit will be 281 pips. And this may take anywhere from three days to three weeks to play out. Um, so the next thing we're going to look at here is the take profit line would just be below. And we need to make a lower low. But as soon as the market starts to go in to this zone and you're 50 pips, 75 pips in profit, we would pull our stop loss to break even. Okay. The same goes for if this market was to reverse up into the red. It's just it's just about there's a lot of nuances as well about this. It isn't black and white, so you get a feel for the market. You may have seen news getting released and the, the market's going in the opposite direction. That along with the news that's been released may it made you make the decision to exit the trade quicker. So 
this is our setup for the week ahead. We go over this one more time. So we're in a downward trend here. We have been in this downward trend since the 11th of January 2023. So there's a huge amount of data here to go off of on the daily time frame. We've got this resistance zone, this resistance zone, and this red trend line. We can see that we've made higher low, higher low. And for this to confirm as a higher low, we're waiting on this yellow line getting broke, breaking the structure of the last bullish candle. If it doesn't break this yellow line and it reverses and starts going up again, it might come up to kind of this area here, then this trade is void. We will just move this yellow line up to the last bullish candle. If the market goes up to this resistance area and breaks it, then the whole setup we would be in the bin basically because we could be having a real change of structure. So that is for the CAD CHF Swiss franc. If we go going to here the Euro USD, so you'll see here some trades that have played out already. So we'll go over some of these. Again, the style of trading I do, you can see here I've got resistance zones and I have support zones. Some of those previous resistance zones you will frequently see that they end up becoming support zones. So, but as the market is bouncing off and coming down, bouncing off it and coming down, it'll end up going through it and then coming off it and using it as resistance, as you can see it's doing here. So, if we look at this, you can see here we're on a downward trend. Structure was broke. The resistance was broke, creating a new support. Almost bounced off the support here. And now we find ourselves in, I would say this was a consolidation. The market is consolidating in this zone here. But you can still get trades in consolidation zones because you know they will bounce off the resistance, bounce off the support, bounce off the resistance. So there's profits to be made here once you know that uh, it has bounced off the resistance and the last bullish candle structure has been broken. So as an example, as you can see here, we bounced off this support area here. So we bounced off this support area. The last bearish candle was this candle right here. I'll just highlight this. This blue candle was the last bearish candle. We bounced off the support. We drew a yellow line on the wick of the last bullish candle. As soon as that area was broke, we entered the trade. And as you can see, this trade played out. And our stop loss was below the wick of the last bullish candle, the one we entered on. So it was a pretty much a tight stop loss here, 42 pips. And the take profit, we ended up getting out of this trade and set a stop loss at this resistance zone that had bounced off it a few times before. It just spiked above here. It was obviously to take this liquidity over in this area here. You see those orders sitting here. And... The orders were taken out here. So we knew this was a zone that was potentially going to bounce um, in reverse. So we got out of the trade and that was a profitable trade here. Currently, there is no setup. Um, we're not near any kind of support or resistance zones here. So we're just going to monitor this Euro USD, Great British Pound USD. You can see here, we're in this zone, this uh, support zone here. The support zone's been respected multiple times. As you can see here, I've drew those little green circles. The support and resistance has been respected numerous times since as far back as December 23. So December 2023, this is a good few months. This market's been going sideways, but there's still trade to be taken in here. As you can see, I took one in this area. We went above, obviously 
we took the liquidity of all these here, spiked above, came down. As you can see, the yellow line, we broke the structure because we broke the last bullish candle, the wick of it. We entered the trade. And as you can see, this trade actually played out over four, five, six, seven, seven or eight days. And that was for 135 pips. So let's go on to our next. You know, if you've watched our previous video, we like to just concentrate on the six major pairs. Um, they're the Euro USD, British Pound USD, Aussie Dollar USD, USD CAD, USD JPY, and USD Swiss Franc. We will monitor other ones, but obviously we always kind of pay closer attention to the six major pairs, and it's because there's more volume in that market than these markets. So that was the Great British Pound USD. I will be monitoring this and I'll be waiting on this structure get broke. As you can see, I've drew my yellow line here and I have an alert set. I've just hit the little plus symbol. So break of structure long. So I will receive an email and an SMS text message when this area is broke and then I know to enter. If you know anything about the last video, guys, our style of trading is swing trading. We analyse the markets at the weekend. Sometimes we analyse the markets at night time. Um, we don't, a lot of people don't have time to sit in front of markets um, during the day. They're at work. We've got commitments. So this is the perfect strategy if you want to get involved in trading and you're working a nine to five because all your study and all your analysis is done at the weekend or done at night time. Also, personally, it just depends on your personality. Um, when I sit in front of the markets during the day watching the five minute candle you end up placing trades that aren't there you want paid for your time that you're investing and you force trades and you lose money and that's why there is the statistic that over 90% of people lose money you will find that a lot of them will be um, on the lower time frames so we went into the Aussie here there was nothing happening in this one but we had an excellent trade here as you can see, the market was in a huge upward trend and then the structure was broken. Um, look how tight the stop loss is on this one. 38 pips versus 318 pip gain. Um, again, just to reiterate here, this white candle here, if you look um, at this uptrend, if you look at this uptrend and say, well, why didn't we go in here? Why didn't we go in here on this bearish candle? This one here, why didn't we enter? So the reason why we didn't enter on this is because the structure was not broken. So if we get our line to here, and we would say this would have been the last bullish candle, structure was not broke. This blue did not break this structure. It just kept going up, okay? So we keep going up with the line. As you can see here as well, blue didn't break. So it broke it here. As you can see, this is where it broke it. And you can also see sometimes I'm late to entering this. Um, it shows you that I'm not sitting in front of the computer all the time because this is where I should have got in at 6, 8, 2, 40. That's when my alert was sent. I was obviously busy um, and by the time I got to place the trade, we were at 68, 127. So it just shows I'm not entering straight on it because I'm not sitting there watching it. I'll get an alert and then it maybe take me, depending on where I am, what I'm doing, 5, 10, 15 minutes to enter the trade. But as you can see, this one played out nicely. Again, it was probably over about two weeks, this trade. So let's move on to the USD CAD. I've not had a trade on this, not, not recently, but as you can see here again, we were in a downward trend. The last bearish candle, this blue candle. Structure was broke here. Structure was broke. Stop loss is at the bottom of the candle that broke the structure. And take profit in this instance was, there was a previous resistance here. Um, it's been deleted. So that was the USD CAD. USD GPY, this was an excellent trade. Um, I had been waiting on this trade for quite some time. So as you can see here, 
the green line are in a clear upward trend. We'll drag this across. So the market is in a clear upward trend. You don't even need a line to see that this is in an upward trend. So the market's gone up, pulling back, up, pulling back, pulling back to this trend line. It's respected this trend line a couple of days here, here, several days in this zone, several days in this zone. So here is the reason why I went into this trade, this area here. This area here, we'll just highlight it. So I said to myself, this is an upward trend. It's pulled back here, came up, pulled back. So when it pulled back at this zone, yep, this area here, I felt that it was not going to break this low area here. Okay, so I had a line drew here, and I didn't think this area would be broke. And as you can see, it almost hit it right to the line, and then it reversed. And then I put our strategy to play by entering our break of structure line, just to confirm. Because this is the thing, if you look at this, this has happened since as far back as January 2023, over a year, right? Over a year, this market's been going up, okay? So, we're just waiting for the pullback, and then we want to enter on the pullback to go up again. But we don't know where is the pullback going to stop and when is it going to start going up again? That's the yellow line. That's the structure. That's what confirms it. If you look here, we never took this trade, but you can see this area here, this little blue candle. You can see this white candle broke the wick of the last bullish candle and you were on the trend line this would have been an entry here, okay? And this would have been an excellent trade. I'll just put on the position I would have took here, so I would have entered the trade here. The stop loss would have been below that white candle. Look at the take profits. It would have been up at this zone. And it would have took us, you know, it just took two weeks or so, but look at the profits, 877 pips. Fantastic trade. So this one here that we identified was over four, five days. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, got out on the sixth day and we took a profit of 351 pips. And this was an A plus setup for us. We went in um, big on this trade because everything was aligning, everything was setting up. It was an A plus setup. So next one here, the USDCHF. Again, we will watch this area here. Um, I've not marked this up yet, so let's do it now. If we put our trend line here, and this is the last bullish candle, I'm going to go to the wick of it and draw a line. Then I'm going to come over here and hit this little plus sign and add an alert. So I'll get an alert when this is broke. When this breaks, I will enter a position I'll enter a short position here. Stop loss is quite big on this one because the candle, depending on where the candle that breaks it is, it could be anywhere in this zone. But your take profits would be down here at this support zone, 263 pips. So, we'll go on to our next one here. So this is the Aussie dollar versus the Japanese yen. As you can see, this area is just about to break. So if we draw another one here, a little line, and you're very close to your trend line as well. So this area is another area we're going to look out for. And we're going to set a alert here. Then we've got the Great British Pound card. Euro CHF, you can see here we've got the yellow line. 
and CAD CHF here. So hopefully this video has been useful and you can see what we're doing here by following the trend. Um, this is a downward trend. There is no way that we are going to go along on a downward trend. This is coming down, so we're just waiting for the retracement. A retracement has happened here. Okay, this is in the CAD Swiss franc, CAD CHF. You can see we're coming in a clear downward trend. This has been happening since January 2023 over a year, every time it hit this trend line, it's come down, trend line down, trend line, it just went over a year, but a big drop, and then we're back in this trend line area here, okay? So we're waiting on this yellow line structure being broke. This is a trade that we're looking out for. Um, it's very close. We could be entering this trade on Monday. Um, do we have a notification set up on this one? An alert. So that's the ones that we're monitoring. Um, we've got the six major pairs, and then we've got one, two, three, four down here that we've identified out of other pairs. I hope this video has been useful. We will um, make another video next week. We will go over these trades, what ones we took, what played out, what didn't play out. Until the next time, stay safe.